Hi guys! Have you ever run into a situation where there are two distance locations and each location requires a PoE switch to connect with multiple IP devices such as the IP camera or a wireless access point? So how can we finish the setup reliably and effectively? Now today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use two long-range PoE switch to set up a PoE network that is 1,600 feet. So please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. The long-range PoE switch can provide both data connectivity and power to the remote devices over long distance using a single Ethernet cable. It can eliminate the need for a separate power outlet and offer improved stability and flexibility. But we know that PoE has a limitation of 328 feet, that's about 100 meters. But why is that? because there is a decrease in power when the distance increases. It is due to the resistance in the cable, and power loss will occur during the transmission of the electrical energy. So if the distance is too great, that means your edge device will not get enough power to operate. So in a typical way, people will use PoE extender to boost up the data and the power. But today, we are connecting in a distance of 1,600 feet, that's about 500 meters. That's why we are using the long-range PoE switch instead of the PoE extender. Now, let's move on to the demonstration board, and I'll show you the whole setup of today. So here we are in front of the board, and today we are going to connect two long-range PoE switch together and all these IP devices on the board. Now let's take a look at our PoE switch. This is an 8-port long-range PoE switch, so it can provide up to 8 devices at the same time, but keep in mind, only 1 to 4 ports here are supporting long-range. The other 4 ports are just ordinary PoE ports. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard, and supplies up to 30 watts of power for each port. And also, it has fast speed. The connected PD can receive up to 100 megabit per second. So we're going to place one here, and we have the other one over this side. And in between, we have this big pile of Ethernet cable that's about 500 meters, that's 1,600 feet. So without saying, let's do the connection together. Let's do the connection from the beginning. So we have a monitor here, a router, and an NVR. The monitor will have image later on after we connect it with the IP camera. Now I'm going to use the short patch cord here to connect our router with the NVR first. And then, using another short patch cord to connect our main network, the router, to our PoE switch to get data. You can see the indicated lights are on. It's already been powered up. Now I'm going to use two short patch cord here to connect with two IP camera to see if it works. Okay, and remember only one to number four port are the long range port. So I'm going to use the ethernet cable here to plug it in one of the port here. Okay, we can see the both cameras are on. We're getting images already. And now, this, this is a big pile of Ethernet cable. Since I can't find one that's exactly 500 meter, that's why I add up two piles together. So I'm going to use a simple coupler here to join both Ethernet cable together. Just like this. So now we can have distance of 500 meters, that's 1,600 feet. 
and let's come over to the other long range PoE switch. I'm going to use the Ethernet cable and connect with the long range port to get the long range signal. And then I'm going to use two short patch cord also to connect with two IP devices. This is the camera and let's use this one to connect with the SS point. Okay, let me stick it onto the wall. Oh, the board, okay. Here we go. We can see the indicated lights are getting on and the IP camera here are also getting images. Let's see. Let me wave my hand a little bit so you can see this is a live video and everything is connected, right? And there's no extra power source needed for all these IP devices, only a single ethernet cable. And in between there's a 500 meter ethernet cable. So the whole setup is done. So the long range PoE switch gives you a simple and clean connection. It is more reliable and eliminate the active at extension. And also you can see the long range PoE switch can provide more ports available to the edge devices. If you're using a PoE extender, in this distance you may generate latency because you have to add a lot of PoE extender. Now, also keep in mind, choose a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or a Cat6 during the connection because copper has higher conductivity compared to other materials, so it can provide stable power delivery. And also the total power budget. The long range PoE switch has total 120 watts of power budget. You have to be careful with your power consumption of your devices. Now, last but not least, if you want to use a fiber optic cable to form a PoE network and connect with two distance location, here's the video you can watch. And thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you next time.